After getting a very nice response in my last Q&A with Dr. Kanaka, I've decided to make one more this Saturday. So after reading to all the comments and replies which you gave to my three questions which I asked in my last video, I would be telling you the answers which I mutually made after looking at the comments and that answer I would be telling you at the end. So stay tuned for that. Dr. Kanaka Popli and welcome to my YouTube channel and also to the another episode of Q&A with Dr. Kanaka. Okay, so beginning with the questions, the first question is by Chetna. How many hours did you study in one day during your preparation and please tell how to manage other activities like sports, singing while preparing. Should we do stuff like other than studies or just focus on our studies and nothing else? I really, really like your videos. Lots of love to you from Chhattisgarh. You are my inspiration. So Chetna, lots of love to you too. And about your extracurricular activities along with studies, see, it depends on how much time you're left with and if you're good with time management or not. If I consider myself, I am decently good with time management. But then I know that if I have only like, let's say five to six months left for my preparation, then I won't do any of the extracurricular activities. But if I know that I have one or two years, then obviously I would try to manage these things. It actually depends on how much time you're left with and if you are good with time management. If you feel that the time is very less and the syllabus is huge, which you need to cover, then I would really suggest you not to give time to these activities and if you really want to then just a lot a break for it a time just a specific time let's say if you are interested in singing or drawing just a lot 20 or 30 minutes to that thing but try not to a lot much of time because when we like such things we just do not know when half an hour just converts into two hours so that is why try to avoid these things and if you really don't want to then a lot a very specific time period in my case i tried not to do these things okay so the next question is by niyati can i ask you one question why didn't you take a drop for one year when you weren't selected in government medical college Okay, so this question again has been in many of the people's mind. So about not taking a drop, I would really tell you that once a person think to take a drop, the person should be sure of their own mindset. And during my time, I was really not sure about my mindset. See, if I just take a drop and for the sake of dropping, just because I know that lots of people are taking a drop and all my friends are taking a drop and I just sit at my home with the books open and not doing anything, just sitting on my books, wasting time and also not studying and getting depressed because of it. And obviously, once you are taking a drop, you have a lot of pressure too due to the environment, due to your family and everything, right? So I wasn't sure that I can deal with it. And also I wasn't sure that even if I drop that, can I even clear it? You see, you need to have a very strong mindset. Even for the people, I would always suggest that don't just directly think of dropping the ear. Try to ponder yourself. Try to ask few questions that are you ready to study again for one year? Are you ready that you, you won't get demotivated? Are you ready that you won't give up? Are you ready to take up all that negative pressure around yourself, all that negativity and everything? So if you are ready to do all of it, then only there's a point to drop. If you think that you may not be able to do all of it and you may again land up not getting into a government college, then there's no point of dropping. See, there was no point if I wouldn't have get a government college after dropping and then again going into a private medical college, right? So just what it is, it is all about mindset. And I was at that time quite clear that I may not be able to study when I drop. And also luckily my parents were also not supporting the drop thing too. So they were also quite satisfied that I take an admission right now only. So that is how it thing, the things went and I am quite happy with my decision that time also and now. So I'm not regretting to it anyway. So about third question, it is by Trilok Sharma. 
दी मेरी प्रॉब्लम ये है कि ड्यूरिंग टीन एज एंड प्यूबर्टी वी सफर अ लॉट ऑफ फीलिंग्स फ्रॉम समवन दिस प्रॉब्लम इज विद मी टू दी आई वेस्ट टू टू थ्री आवर्स जस्ट टू सी माई क्रश एंड यू नेवर लुक एट मी एट लास्ट आई रियलाइज दैट आई वेस्ट इन माई प्रीवियस टाइम मैम आई एम मानवी प्लीज हेल्प मी सो मानवी सी सिंस you have already said that you are a teenager right now and probably you were in 10th standard 2 as i saw the comments so i feel that this is very natural this time this age of ours is actually made for us to get deviated towards the opposite gender that is really very natural if it is happening to you too but see you may be very young to understand this thing right now but i'm telling you after one or two years this would really make sense that you would meet thousands of people even more than that in your coming life before you get married and you would get so many opportunities to have new crushes and to make new boyfriends and everything see if you are feeling that you are having a crush on someone and that is completely one sided and you're just wasting your time as you said so it now is actually the right time that you should just stop because there's no point if you feel that that wasting time and that looking up to him is not positive it is all negative whenever we think of love it is all about happiness and the flowers blooming and the music playing and everything like that but if it is not happening to you as you said that you are just wasting time and the person is not at all looking at you then you should just stop wait for the right moment i'm telling you next time or very soon there would come a time there would be a right time when you would look at a person and that person would also look back to you just the way you are looking so instead of wasting your time and feeling bad just stop just try to concentrate on your studies and try to understand what feel you want to take in your 11th standard and try to make yourself a better version of it and take lesson from it than not to waste time you on to a thing which is just one sided right so coming to the fourth question it is by dev prakash pande being from a middle class family economic crisis is worst problem to a student how one can manage the economic problem should he get into part time job or etc or continue his studies in limited resources please suggest your answer so dev prakash i understand your situation very well and also about your situation see also due to the lockdown i would say that this situation must have aggravated too but about the ideal situation for preparing for your entrance exam or any exam i would say that it is better that if you just focus on your studies but if the situation is not controllable and you need to go for a job there's no harm in going for the job i know so many of my friends and so many of people who have been doing their job along with their studies and still manage to get a very decent rank so you can definitely do that and nowadays there are so many opportunities for jobs so many freelancing jobs so many part time jobs and so many jobs which are available online which would also save on your traveling time so you may try those online job opportunities too like teaching and everything like that if you are interested so that you can save your time on traveling and i think that would really help and it would be very helpful to you on financial terms also and also on your mental pressure which you may be facing right now so if you have the opportunity of going for the job i would never say no to it because people actually do this and it is not a new thing which you would be doing so don't feel pressurized of it many people are actually managing their studies with a job coming to the next question it is by dikshant what do you do right now studying or practice so i have just completed my mbbs and right now i am a student only because i would be starting with my md too so i am not practicing i'm just a student right now so the next question is by white coat beauty i had also posted this q and a session on my instagram so i have taken one question from that instagram questions too and she says hi do you work out at home now during quarantine so i used to work out when the quarantine had just begun but now when i've started with youtube and now i've also become quite regular with youtube so it is like my workout routine has now been shifted i'm not doing it since i don't know very long time but yes one or two days i try to take out in a week to do and do exercise 
मे बी जस्ट अ स्मॉल मेडिटेशन विच आई हैड ऑलरेडी मैंशन इन माई ओवर थिंकिंग वीडियो दैट आई ट्राई टू टेक आउट फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी मिनट्स डेली फॉर माई मेडिटेशन दैट इज काइंड ऑफ वन सोर्स ऑफ मी डूइंग माई वर्कआउट सो दैट इज इट फॉर टूडेज वीडियो आई रियली होप दैट यू लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड अबाउट द थ्री क्वेश्चन विच वी हैड अर्लियर द फर्स्ट वन वॉज अबाउट शुड आई डू इट वीकली ओर मंथली एज एवरी said i saw a lot of people saying that i should try it weekly so i would kind of try to post video at least thrice three saturdays in a month or maybe even four depending on the questions you send me and about the second question about the language i saw a lot of people being comfortable with english but i would keep it this way only if a person is asking me a question in hindi i would try answering that person in hindi only and about the third question about the email id i saw a lot of people appreciating my idea of creating an email id so that people name isn't revealed so the email id is q and a with dr kanaka at the rate gmail.com i will also write this email id in my description box below so any question you have and you do not want to reveal your name email me on this email id i would try to answer it in my next sessions of q and a also also comment down your questions ask your questions as much as you can so everyone we are going to reach 10k subscribers very soon so everyone just subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already let's reach 10k and then we would have a live session and we would interact and we would know each other very well and so a very important thing uh recently one of a girl asked me one question she was really upset about something which obviously she didn't want me to reveal it on the channel by her name so i haven't put that question in this video but that question would be answered in my next video on thursday so stay tuned for that i'm telling you that question was extremely deep and it had really put me into thoughts for many days and i know that most of the girls specially face that situation and have been facing that right now too so that video is for that i have really tried my level best so that that video really touches your heart and try to understand the problem and the situation and also to come out of that situation very quickly so stay tuned and look for the video on thursday and yes as i said let's just quickly reach 10k subscribers and have a live session so subscribe to the channel and let's make this channel a very big success together